Hi, this tutorial we will show you how to create a document with sections in Word and how to use PDF Butter to show or hide these sections, sections conditionally. First, let's start off with the Word document. I just have a simple demo document with a header and uh, yeah, some text in there. So this section, I always want to show whatever it takes. I have only one merge field in here for now, so it's just a demo. Next up, I want to actually add a section to this uh, document. And what I'm quickly going to show you is how I, you can see all of the paragraphs that are there. This is important because this shows more information than, uh, um, than normal. So now I want to add a section at this uh, place. So I just go to Okay, add a section. So the section should start on the next page. Yeah, sorry, my uh, word is, is, is in Dutch. So this is just a section and the section has to start on the next page. Okay, so it created a new section and you see that the header is now currently the same as the previous header. The cool thing with uh, sections is that you can actually do whatever you would like. So it's a complete new document inside the document. So if you say, I want a different uh, header, so you just switch off that it's uh, connected to the previous one and you can just put in an, uh, your own section two for instance in the header and you will see that the header of the first page is still unchanged so every section can have its own page you can even say to this uh, section that you want it in a different uh, um, positions differently so this section is now positioned uh, uh, yeah um, portrait uh, sorry this one is portrait this one is landscape okay that's not very nice so i'm just going to change it back to, to uh, uh, portrait. Okay, much better. So next up, we have created our section. You can create as many sections in the Word document as you would like. You can change the header, the footer. You can restart the page numbering. All of that is possible in, uh, in sections. Please read up on it. It's a uh, default Word stuff. So let's now create a merge field that says section two. So this will identify the second section. And so, uh, we can just type some text is hi this is section two only show this when the customer is a new customer so what i had planned for this one is that i want to show the section when it's a type new customer, that the opportunities of type new customer. So I want to use this as my uh, condition, my criteria to actually decide on showing this section, yes or no. Of course, you can uh, <clears throat> have uh, merge fields in this section, just do uh, the normal stuff you would do in uh, PDF Butter. Let's take the order number for now to just put in here. Okay, our document is done. We have a section here uh, that starts here. So uh, we have uh, section one, we have changed our headers and we have a section two. So we only wanna show this section when it is a new customer. Okay, let's save the document. And next up is of course doing the configuration inside PDF Butter. Just to uh, shorten the video a little bit, I've already created the doc.config. Everybody knows that by now how to handle that. So I just gonna open up PDF Butter backend. Okay, the backend is loaded. What I need now is, um, I just wanna get the documents uh, copied over. So I'll just use um, the, link to the document one second please yeah just copying the document over uh, okay so conditional sections demo okay just give it a name it's fee it's version one so it's fee one we'll add a data source uh it's the opportunity data source that i want to use and you see i have the order number and the type here so that's uh, just fine okay so i want to add a config type now as well I had a config type saying account name. Okay, let's add that account name, data source, opportunity, account name, merge field, account name. Okay, that's it. We'll add a config type and this config type will identify section two. So I'm gonna make it of 
type conditional section called section two, data source opportunity, merge fields, of course, section two. I do not want to see the merge field afterwards. I even want to uh, completely delete the containing paragraph. So that means that this entire line will disappear when uh, the section is uh, shown or not shown. Okay, when a uh, section is shown, of course, when uh, the section is not shown, the entire page will disappear. So I'll add a condition now. And the condition was that the, uh, the customer, the type of the customer equals, let's copy paste the text. Copy pasting is always better than typing and making typos. Let's copy paste the text equals new customer. So I wanna only wanna show the section when the type is new customer. Okay. Cool, that's that. Save the server. Actually, uh, yeah, there was one extra item there in the section. Of course, I want to add an order number. So look at what I did there. I made a section. Now I'm going to make sure that all of the uh, merge fields and all of the dynamic stuff in, inside this section is actually as a child of this section. That's of course for performance reasons, means that you don't want to run all of these config types when a section is actually gonna be removed. So order number, single, use parent data source. No, let's create, your, let's use the opportunity one. Use the order number fields, order number. Okay, save to server. That's it, that's how easy it is to configure everything. All that's left to do is quickly test it. So I suppose everybody wants to see how this works. I've already added the uh, uh, the doc config to my list here. So if you wanna see how that works, you everybody knows that you just have to go to edit page uh, and add the, uh, the doc config ID. So now when I click this button, the logic should show, I should say that the section should be there. Let's try, click the button. Document is already generated. Okay, here's the document. It's two pages, so that looks promising. I indeed have my section one, I have my section two, and the order number is filled. Wow, this is great. It works as expected. Uh, and of course, this is the account number. That's also what we have filled. Okay, now second test, let's change the customer. A type, let's go for an upgrade customer, save it, cool. Click the button again, that's how easy it is. Document is already generated, damn, that's fast. Okay, one page, whoa, that's uh, very promising. The account number is of course there and the second check section is not shown. So perfectly exactly what I wanted, it works, the section is removed and the section is shown when the, the customer is of type new customer or the opportunities of type new customers. That's it. That's how easy it is to create conditional sections inside PDF Butler. If you have any questions or wanna know more, please uh, look at all of the videos on our YouTube channel and our academy, or of course, contact us via uh, service at pdfbutler.com. Talk to you later, bye.